Some of the greatest stories that are being told in our time are not by the scribes and authors of our religious hierarchy. They are from the comic book people, and they gather once a year at Comic-Con. It is a festival of sights, sounds, smells, and of course, everything that the imagination can produce. Hundreds of thousands of people swarm to see, to be seen, and to relish in society's greatest escape. Fantasy. Fiction. The comic book pantheon. The inhabitants of this world are many. They come in all different shapes and sizes. The color of their skin and the background are often very different. But there is a common thread that unites them. It is their love, it is their unwavering devotion to the characters of the comic book. That is amazing. And yet, we can trace the lineage of this rabid obsession to one man, one creative genius, Stan Lee. And there is a far deeper, mystical, mysterious, sociological reason for people coming to Comic-Con and dressing up by the way they do. Nicholas Brendan, what brings you to Comic-Con, sir? The panda bears at the zoo. So what brings you to Comic-Con, sir? Well, we are promoting our uh, comic book called Forever Freshman. Mr. Lamar Burton, what brings you to Comic Con, sir? Oh, it's um, it's my love of crowds. I think massive, uncontrollable crowds. That's uh, it's a fetish of mine. Oh, I want to thank you all for being here. Love you all and excelsior.